I spent years studying chemistry, studying atoms and all of this, but you don't become a true believer until the day you look through a microscope and there are the atoms. You know, they're real. And because it's real and you can see it, there's so much we can learn. The Electron Microscopy Center at Utrecht Science Park is a new center where we have a whole suite of really fancy electron microscopes to study materials and life at a really fine resolution. So the Electron Microscopy Center houses all the electron microscopes and was set up so that users can easily access the instrumentation for their research. We have access to some of the best technology in the world all in one place and a great many users can come together to use this technology but also discuss and get ideas from this technology. And it's really started to revolutionize the way that we're doing research here. I'm researching the structural and chemical evolution of ancient tectonic plate boundaries. Plate tectonic boundaries make things like earthquakes, for example. So we can look at these structures on the very fine scale and try to understand the mechanics behind things like earthquakes. Every single rock that I pick up in the field is like an earth history book to me. So with the toolkit that I have, like using the electron microscopy center, I'm able to dig into the details to understand what earth's history really has in store. When we get old and our cells get stressed from all the environmental factors that, yeah, bad food, smoking, drinking, anything like that, that puts your body under stress. We try to understand how cells deal with stress to help them improve so that they don't become cancerous. There's so much going on in the cell and we have no idea what most of it actually looks like. So the fragments we are able to visualize and study, that is the great thing about microscopy. I work with catalysts, catalysts being materials that we use for enhancing reactions. In essence, it makes the reaction run cheaper and with less waste, less CO2 production. Almost everything in this room, everything you own, your breakfast this morning was made <laughs> from a catalyst, uh, so they are absolutely essential. Now we're starting to use these electron microscopy techniques to actually understand what makes a good catalyst. Why is this one working better than that one? This place is unique because we have so many different types of microscopes that are able to image materials at a range of resolutions and a range of spatial scales. And the suite of instruments that we have here is unlike any other in the world. The microscopes have a very high requirement in terms of electromagnetic interference being very low. It has to be very stable floor, so no vibrations. You don't want to feel all the vibrations from the traffic and the tram and things like that. So we will get the most out of our instruments that they're here. Um, we hope for improved data from what we had before. This place is unique in that we have the opportunity to work uh, cross-disciplinary. We have so many people here who know so much about so many different topics. This facility is going to absolutely make all of my research possible.